I have to commend Bellew on what he did. Bellew was whooping his ass. Let's just face it. Wilder told CBS Sports. Bellew's whooping his ass. Bellew definitely gave people insight on what Uzik really was all about. And I think he should stay at the cruiserweight division. If he was smart, he would stay at the cruiserweight division. Because when you start coming up in weight, you're going to have to gain some more weight. And you're going to be slower than what you was already, Wilder said. Tony Bellew was tearing him up and was already hitting him. And when Uzik was pawing out with the jab, a lot of guys like me with long arms is not going to take that jab to the face, just pawing it. And you ain't touching them, just pawing them. We're going to take advantage of that. I advise him to stay at the cruiserweight because when you start dealing with the elite in this division with these heavyweights, he's going to find that the power is different. Wilder said the weight is different. Can you hold that weight that you have to be up in there? You only have to be 200 pounds, 201 to be exact. But will that be enough? Everybody is not the bronze bomber and everybody is not Deontay Wilder. I can do it at a level that I can do it at because I have done it many times. But most guys feel they need that weight to do it. But if he do come and he fights a legitimate heavyweight to officially announce himself at this weight, as me, as a team, welcome. The more, the merrier. Well, first of all, I ain't even got to tell you guys that Deontay Wilder is obviously hating on Alexander Uzik. You know, it's obvious in the plainest day. You know, it's the dude's M.O. And I'm going to show you how. Because if Tony Bellew touching up or outboxing Alexander Uzik was him exposing Uzik for what he really was, then what do you call what Luis Ortiz did to Deontay Wilder because what Luis Ortiz did to Deontay Wilder was worse. So my question to Wilder and his fans, so was Ortiz whooping your ass? Was he exposing you then? Was he was letting the world know what you was really about? Because like I said, the ass whooping that Luis Ortiz gave you was nothing compared to what um, Tony Bell you did to Alexander Uzi. OK, you were getting slapped around that ring by Luis Ortiz, period. And he almost got you out of there. If if it had been 15 more seconds, you'd have been laying on the canvas. That's straight up. So if what Tony Bell, you did to Alexander Uzi exposed Alexander Uzi to the world and let everybody know what he really is. Then what did Luis Ortiz expose about you? Because this is the crazy thing. Alexander Uzik won his fight in the same fashion in which Deontay Wilder wins his fights. He's behind on the scorecards. Then he turned around and knocked the guy out in later rounds. Well, that's the same thing Alexander Uzik did. You know, Deontay Wilder was behind on the scorecards with Gerald Washington. Then he knocked him out in the later rounds. He was behind on the scorecards with Luis Ortiz. Then he knocked him out in the later rounds. And all I ever hear when I try to bring up how Luis Ortiz was whooping Deontay Wilder ass. All I ever hear from his fan base is, so what? He knocked him out, though. He knocked him out, though. He knocked him out, though. I'm like, all right, cool, fine. Well, Alexander Uzik knocked out Tony Bellew. And because he got outboxed by Tony Bellew, all of a sudden, Tony Bellew exposed him for what he really was. So, like I'm saying, then what did Ortiz expose about Wilder then? You see what I'm talking about? Because he won his fight in the same way Deontay Wilder wins all of his fights. But all of a sudden, he's exposed now. And this is the other thing. Deontay Wilder has no right and is downright blasphemous for him to tell anybody of how they need to navigate their career. He is the last person that anybody needs to be taking any advice from. What do you mean if somebody was smart, they would stay down in the cruiserweight division? Maybe it hasn't crossed Deontay Wilder's mind that... Alexander Uzik got to where he got by not listening and not doing what people like Deontay Wilder do. This is why he's 15 fights in and he's already an undisputed unified cruiserweight champion. OK, this is why he got all those belts draped around his body and Deontay Wilder only has one. OK, this is why he's unified when Deontay Wilder has only fought one top 10 contender in 10 years. 
OK, you can't put a cap on somebody's dreams and ambitions. You know, it is those same dreams and those same ambitions what got him in the position that he's in right now. That's why he got the Muhammad Ali trophy right now. OK, by not listening to people like that and not doing what those people do. So when you say that he needs to be aware about coming up in the heavyweight division because guys like you with longer arms will take advantage of guys like him or whatever and how this is a whole different power and how that division, the heavyweight division is harder and this is a whole different monster, then I got another scenario for you. Since what Alexander Uzik is trying to do is obviously something that he's stepping up and he's taking on a much bigger and a harder task because you claim the heavyweight division is a tougher division, which I have no quarrels with. Then answer this question. Then what does it look like Mr. King of the heavyweight, so-called proclaimed, Mr. Baddest Man on the Planet, wants to drop down from the heavyweight division into the cruiserweight division? Hmm? What you got to say about that? So if Alexander Uzik goes up, you view that as harder, stiffer, rougher competition and just a rougher job in general. So naturally, if somebody from heavyweight goes down to cruiserweight, wouldn't that technically be taking the easier route? Yeah, it would. See, you sit up here and hating on this man because he accomplished something in 15 fights that you couldn't do in 10 years. You know, you're afraid that he's going to step up in the heavyweight division and steal all of your shine or what shine is left over that Anthony Joshua is not taking up. That's basically what it is. And not only that, you're afraid that he might get that payday before you. And I hope he does. You know, I keep telling people, I hope Alexander Uzi gets his shot at Anthony Joshua before Deontay Wilder. I hope you are the last thing on their mind. And no, it's not because I think Alexander Uzi would win against Anthony Joshua. I just want to see him have an opportunity because when you move and shake like that and you handle what you're supposed to do and, you know, you, you you won all those championships and you won the Ali trophy or something like that. You should be rewarded with a lucrative payday, bro. You deserve it. You know, but dudes like Deontay Wilder just can't stand to see somebody else succeed. Can't stand to see somebody else shine. It's look, it's the same thing with his brother and his pro debut in cruiserweight. Five days later, this fool gets on Instagram, talk about dropping down the cruiserweight. If you can't stand for your brother to rise up and shine, and this is your little brother, then how anybody going to expect you to be happy for anybody else? So you the last person to be talking about what somebody should do or what's smart for them. You know what I'm saying? See, that's that PBC talk. That's that Al Hamer fighter talk. You know, because it's clear to me now that all you guys are engineered and designed and advised to take the easy route and don't take hard fights. That's why your career go the way it went. You know, there's no way in hell a heavyweight champion is supposed to have a career like Deontay Wilder's. It's almost impossible. You fought, but who, who was seriously, even if you cherry pick a lot, nobody cherry picks their entire career. OK, this dude, maybe 50 percent, maybe even 60 percent. But this dude has literally went his entire career without ever taking any real challenges. And he's only stepping up and is not even stepping up after this long. It's just basic shit you're supposed to be doing in the first place. And he only stepped up after the fourth quarter of your career, after you're almost retired. Once again, this is why I view Deontay Wilder no different from Conor McGregor. They just coming over here to get a check, you know, just using and abuse boxing. But don't tell this man what he should be doing or what he shouldn't be doing. And this is a unified undisputed cruiserweight champion who are you who are you you the most underpaid so-called popular boxer that i know of okay in a minute alexander uzik's checks is gonna be eclipping yours straight up but anyways man leave your thoughts leave your Leave your ideas or whatever you feel or your hatred and whatever. Leave it all in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the backup channel. It's called The Legend of Bruce Boxing. 
I will leave the link in the description box and I will also leave it in the comment section. But you definitely going to want to click onto this channel and subscribe because it's going to get real gritty right here on Bruce Vang channel. And I'm just letting y'all know. I'm out.